Hello everyone, welcome back. What we are going to learn in this video is how to set up Jenkins using Docker Compose. All right, let's quickly go over the agenda. So we will be going over the prerequisites. So we are going to have Ubuntu EC2 instance and we are going to open up port 8080 in the firewall rule. And then we are going to install Docker Compose on the EC2 instance. Once we have satisfied all these prerequisites, then we will go ahead and then create a Docker Compose file for installing Jenkins. And then we will execute Docker Compose up command, uh, which is going to uh, install Jenkins by downloading the Docker image. And then we will verify the logs just to make sure that there are no issues. And then once Jenkins is up, we will access Jenkins in the UI. After that, we will create a job in Jenkins UI. Uh, we will save it and then, you know, we will try to restart the Jenkins EC2 instance and then we will verify that you know the job is still there because we are going to uh, persist uh, all the you know uh, jobs and configuration everything in the docker volume right so these are the things you know what we are going to achieve in this short video awesome so let's get started so this is my website coachdevops.com i will be posting the link right below the video as well so let's try to understand some basic information, right? Why we have to use Docker Compose for setting up Jenkins. So if you look at this particular link where, you know, I have already provided steps for installing Jenkins. Since Jenkins is a Java based tool, which is open source, uh, you would be installing Java and then you would be performing all these commands in order to configure Jenkins. Right? So this is like a manual way of configuring. So we can completely eliminate all these steps by creating something called Docker Compose file. So Docker Compose is kind of a tool where you can define and run your multi-container based applications. It's like a mini uh, Kubernetes, right? Of course, you're not going to get the entire Kubernetes uh, capabilities in, in Docker Compose but if you want to run like, you know, a very small container based application where you don't have to worry about, you know, Kubernetes resiliency and scaling, then you can use Docker Compose. Okay. So the purpose of Docker Compose is it is going to act as a Docker, like a single CLI, but it is going to execute multiple Docker commands much more quickly. Okay. Awesome. So let's get started. So like I said, we are going to create EC2 instance and then we are going to open up port 8080. So let me go to AWS console. So this is my AWS console. So I'm going to create a brand new EC2 instance, uh, which is going to be Ubuntu. And then I'm going to open up port 8080 because Jenkins default port number is 8080. And then we would be installing Docker Compose on that machine. And then we will, we will get started. Okay, awesome. So let's go to launch instance. Uh, I'm going to say Jenkins Docker. Uh, let's go with Ubuntu. Let's go with Ubuntu 18.04. And then let's go with uh, 4GB RAM. Of course, I think 2GB is good enough, but let's go with 4GB RAM. And I already have my existing key. I'm going to choose that. In the firewall rule, I'm going to edit it. Port number 22 is already open here. So I'm going to add additional firewall rule. I'm going to say 8080 here and then I'm going to make this anywhere. I know you have to be careful with anywhere because you are opening up, um, you know, to allow all the IP addresses. So you have to be a bit careful. If you want, you can put in your, your IP address as well. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to increase the storage to maybe uh, 15 GB uh, as, a, as a root volume. Perfect. I think this is good enough. So I have this, I have uh, Ubuntu 18.04, uh, firewall rule defined, and then this is a root volume. And then I'm going to create one instance, okay, perfect. So click on launch instance. Perfect. So now my EC2 instance is coming up. Perfect. So let's connect to it. So I'm going to use my item 
so let's connect to this Jenkins EC2 instance. All right. It might take few seconds for your EC2 instance to come up. Perfect. So now we are good. Let me clear it. So now let's get started on the instruction. So I'm going to go ahead and then perform sudo system update. Okay, so let's, uh, you know, update to the latest packages on this EC2 instance. And then let's go ahead and then install Docker Compose. So the way you would install is, this is the command. It's a very straightforward command. Okay. So when you install Docker Compose, that is also going to install Docker as well. Docker as well as Docker Compose will be installed. Perfect. So let's verify Docker Compose. There you go. So Docker Compose is installed. Awesome. So all we have to do is, you know, we need to create the Docker Compose file. So the way Docker Compose is going to work, once you create this Docker Compose file, you just need to execute this particular command, so Docker Compose app, uh, and that's it, right? Your container will be installed. And then if you want to bring it down, you can just say, you know, Docker Compose down. That's it, right? Okay, so let's quickly understand this Docker Compose file. So I'm going to use this version and then under services, uh, yes, this is our container name and this is the image what we are going to download. So this will be downloaded from Docker Hub. Okay, and if you want to use uh, different uh, Jenkins Docker image, so you can go here, you can search for Jenkins, right? So you can use, uh, you see here, right? There are a lot of, lot of, I mean, th this is what I'm actually using, right? So there are a lot of, you know, um, Jenkins images out there. So you can use whichever you prefer, okay? But I'm using this one, okay? Okay, and then, uh, so this is really important command, right? So restart always means, so, so imagine this, right? We are going to run this command on this EC2 instance. And whenever you are trying to stop your EC2 instance and then restart, my container will be always up and running. So that's what this means, okay? And then this is like, uh, you know, uh, you're running as a root user. And then these are a couple of port numbers what we are opening up, but these are the, this port number is what we are actually interested in. Um, and then that's the container name. And then this is the most important thing, right? Like volume, because anything you are creating in the Jenkins UI, we want to persist, uh, you know, in the, in the machine, right? Because we don't want to lose the data. So that's the reason why, you know, we are writing the data, you know, into these, these directories, right? So these two are really important, okay? So that's it, right? So let's go ahead and then create this Docker Compose file. Let me clear the screen, perfect. And then I'm going to simply copy and paste, perfect. And make sure you follow this strict AML format, right? So when you, during, you know, copy and paste, if you make a mistake, uh, it may not actually run, it may comply, okay? Perfect, let's save this file. And then all we have to do is sudo docker compose app. And then I want to actually run this as a detached mode so that, you know, I can make use of this console. If you don't do it, you know, then you, you will not be able to do anything, right? You have to open up another terminal to perform any, any operation. But I want to run this as a detached mode. So enter, there you go. As you can see here, it is downloading the Docker image from Docker Hub. Once this is done, it will go ahead and then start the container. There you go. So it is in the process of bringing the container up. Perfect. So everything is done. And then you can quickly check whether, uh, you know, the Docker container is coming up or not. So let's go ahead and then say sudo docker compose. And then I'm going to say logs and then let's say follow. So you can literally see the logs which are all coming up. There you go. So that's our log, wonderful. So it looks like, you know, it says that our Jenkins is up and running. We should be able to see that somewhere. Uh, there you go, yeah, Jenkins initial setup is recovered. So I think everything is good. And then this is the 
the default password right uh, i mean which is like a one time thing so so initially they would write the admin password over here so this is the password okay so why don't we uh, go to our aws console copy the public dns a name of this ec2 instance and then let's use that and then mention port 8080 there you go see this is our uh, you know jenkins right is coming up so all we have to do is so we have to copy the password so i'm going to copy the password this is the password and of course you can also get the password by directly using that docker exe command as well right you can log in into container and then you can also get the password at this location as well i mean if you want you can do that but since it is already provided here i'm going to directly use that click on continue uh, i'm not going to save this and then let's go ahead and then install all the suggested plugins this is recommended otherwise you know you have to go ahead and then you know select all the plugins by yourself right now it is in the process of installing all the plugins perfect so all the plugins got installed now it is asking us to create the admin user so i'm going to uh, give everything as admin admin uh, email address doesn't matter i'm going to give some random email address and then click on save and continue there you go so that's it right and then click on save and finish wonderful so we got this uh, link and click on start using jenkins wow there you go so right now so that's our jenkins right so that's our jenkins so what we are going to do is uh, let's go ahead and then create some basic job and then we will run the job and then we will try to uh, stop the ec2 instance and then try to start again and then you know we will be able to see that all the jobs and everything is still available right you will not lose the data even though you stop the ec2 instance and then restart okay so let's do that let me go ahead and then create a job uh, i'm going to create very simple pipeline again you can do whatever you want to do but i want to create a very simple pipeline job okay so let me click on pipeline and say okay and then go to pipeline let me just click on hello world so this is going to give me a basic uh, pipeline code apply save uh, let me click on build now there you go so we are able to see some output here perfect okay awesome so what i'm going to do um let me stop the ec2 instance okay i'm going to stop the ec2 instance let me go ahead and then do that and then you know once this is completely stopped i will try to bring it up okay and then we will verify that you know the still the job is going to be there that you know everything will be persisted in the docker volume okay so it is stopped okay so it is oh it is still stopping there you go it is completely stopped let me go ahead and then start it again start okay so since i'm using the free tire um, i will not be you know able to use the same public dns name so i'm going to stop it uh, this would always create a new ip address as well as a dns name and then we will use that to access jenkins on port 8080 okay there you go so let me copy the dns name again and then go here colon 8080 enter and then i will also access through command line as well so as you can see here the connection got closed so let me log in one more time uh, it might take few seconds there you go type yes okay so if i go ahead and then say docker ps you're gonna see the container running already you see that right even though we stopped the ec2 instance the container also what you know started immediately the reason why it started immediately is because of this we always provided restart always right and then if i go to the ui there you go you see here 
So we are trying to access Jenkins using the new DNS name after the restart. Fantastic, you see here? So we are still able to see our, the old job as well. So we did not lose the data. Everything got persisted in the volume, right? So yeah, so that's it guys, you know, that's how you can set up Jenkins using Docker Compose. Thank you for watching this video.